Proclamation of the People's Tribunal. Here in Walo Prison and in our other facilities throughout North Vietnam, we, the government of the People's Republic of Vietnam, have been your protectors and we have ensured your safety. But you have refused to cooperate with visitors and journalists and you have shown no contrition. So tonight we shall show the world how our people truly feel. Even now, the other blackest of criminals are being assembled here in the center of Hanoi. Tonight, criminals, you will be reunited so that you might confront your innocent victims. And all of this will occur before representatives of the other friendly, peace-loving nations. by a change in diet are indeed true. Right. Are you saying the war is over, Major? World opinion guarantees our victory and the press predicts it. Yes, comrades. Since the valuable footage of the parade, you are of no longer use to us. At least not as a group. Then we must meet, you and I, to discuss the method of our release. There can be no special cases. We are all one here. So, if one goes, we all must go. It behooves you to cooperate. Particularly if you wish your letters from home. for a homily with a scriptural basis. When I was young, at religious school, I remember a great deal was made of Abraham and Isaac. How God ordered Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, his only son, his beloved child. Abraham stood with a knife in his hand and wrestled within himself to decide whether to believe, to 
trust God or to deny him. And I suppose that most of us identified with Abraham, wondering how we would use free choice if that was us. Well, since I've been in here, I've had time to think about Isaac. Helpless. Tied up on an altar. An audience to what might become his own death. And he couldn't trust in God. He had to trust in Abraham and hope that God would act through him. Well, in the end, it all worked out for Isaac and Abraham, just as it will for us. Amen. Amen. Captain Turner? Well, all my life, I've tried to seek light in the midst of darkness. And I've learned that the greater the darkness, the greater the possibility for light. I know that all people are not kind and just. But I'm reminded by you all every day that the voice of God speaks to the conscience of decent people. Closing prayer from Commander Williamson. Dear Lord, we can all draw strength from the words of a 14-year-old boy who wrote them on a wall in Auschwitz. How can I believe in God when I see what is around me? I believe in God in the same way I believe in the sun, even when it doesn't shine, and in love, even when I don't feel it. Dear Lord, we offer you praise and thanks. We are grateful to be together. We are thankful that we are sound of mind. We ask you to bestow blessings upon our loved ones upon our countrymen, upon America, upon our families. There is one more formality before you may make contact with your home. As you can see, the envelopes are empty. When you cooperate, the letters will be given to you. That is the subject of my sermon. It concerns early release. We have no more patience. Those of you who are willing to cooperate, there will be freedom and a trip home. Disassociate yourself from the blackest of criminals. Merry Christmas, sir. GB, you all. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, sir. sir. Can't go with you, Bob. Merry Christmas, Pat. God don't know you're alive, Williamson. He don't fucking care about you. Merry he wants a make on the cube. We're gonna get out of here without kissing the V's ass. Hang tough, all of them, just like you showed me, remember? Hang tough. I think I used up all my tough. 